So we have our initial setup for the database and what we want to do is now we want to actually interact with it, right? We want to actually store the remotes and to accomplish that we will start adding actions here. So let me bring this here and then let's add a store remote action, okay? And so actions take a couple of things, but we're going to destructure here for the commit command here, and then they take something called a payload, and we'll call it remote in here. All right. So the next thing, actions, in my understanding, are usually utilized to perform asynchronous code. So we're going to wrap everything we return here in a promise. All right. And so promises take a resolve and a reject. Methods. And we'll do everything inside of here. So in here, let me implement a generic callback here. So if in case we don't have an error. So the thing is, any DB, uh, depending on what we call, on the callback that we execute will return a parameter here in the case that we were adding a new remote and otherwise we'll put it here for an updated record. So this is what we want to catch here. Um, we want to know if we are going to add to the list a remote that was updated or a remote that was just stored as a new one. And that will make sense in a little bit. So let's now commit. So we're using this destructured key from the object here that was received. And we are committing a mutation, just like we have been doing so far. And the mutation we're committing here is the save remote, the same one that you can see down here. OK? So. We're committing the remote to be saved. Remember, the mutation, uh, what it does is it will update the state or the remote's list array that we have here. All right, so let's move on. And OK, we need to, once we do that, we need to resolve our promise. Otherwise, it's not ever going to get out of there. So now comes the actual usage of an EDB. So in case we already have an ID for the remote we are trying to store. So remember this is the payload that we receive here. If we already have an ID means we are trying to edit or to update the record in the database. So we'll do the following, db.remote. Remember that remotes is going to be now the collection. And it will take three parameters. It will take the record we're looking for to update. So in this parameter, we're telling it, look for any record that on the underscore ID field has the same ID which is part of the payload or the remote I'm trying to save. Then I'm going to give you what information should be stored or should update that record. And then a configuration here. Whether or not we want to update or to have the updated records once we are done with the saving. So this is important because 
now we get this updated remote once we call this method, this callback here. And to call it, we'll add the last parameter. And next is the case where we don't want to update the database, but we want to store our brand new remote. So db remotes, which is our collection, insert, which is want to pass the information we got in the payload, and then call this method, the callback. So the reason why I put this here outside is because we were using it twice here and here. I will finally reform it here real quick to show that we have four different parameters.